Turn to Andy now, and I have a request. Okay. Can you duplicate uh, the last couple of days? Can I duplicate it? Yeah. Um, kind of. They were so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice outside. Yeah. Well, it, it, how about it won't rain for the next couple of days? Okay. If you want that duplication right there. We do have some fog that could be stubborn uh, for a while in certain areas. Right now, though, beautiful out at the uh, Discover Newport camera, and it's uh, 37 degrees out there, a little breeze coming in about 7 miles per hour. But we do need to talk a little bit about the fog. We do have a dense fog advisory for all this area in gray. That's until noon today so it's going to uh, be sitting around there for a while and then as we look over here where it's blue that's a freezing fog advisory uh, that's taking place in a couple different spots over in the northeast corner of the state as well as over uh, just a little bit more towards the west Pendleton up into Washington and a dense fog advisory as well so that's going to be situated there so here's where we're really looking at that visibility issue you can see it's encompassing a good portion of the I-5 corridor and as we take it in a little bit tighter we can see there are some areas that are more dense than others and so uh, just be aware that uh, you need to make sure you are visible when you go out there, take that extra time. And we do have some freezing temperatures, so that uh, more than likely will give you an opportunity to scrape some frost off your windshield. 31 PDX, 33 in Salem. Out along the coast, we range from 32 to 37. Uh, we're at 32 Hood River, 36 to Dallas. But look at that, the inversion, pretty obvious here as you get up to the higher elevation of government camp. 42 degrees there, back down to the 20s in 30 Central Oregon. Over to the east side, we drop it down to 19 degrees in Burns, Pendleton sitting at 30. So the forecast we have at the coast today, it is going to be a beautiful day out there. Just a few patches of fog potentially, otherwise mostly sunny. Highs will go into the mid-50s today, uh, moving it into the valley, and we will have that fog there with us for a while, and we'll see a slow clearing of that. We'll start to get some sun later today. Highs in the upper 40s to around 45 PDX. The gorge will be looking at the best chance of fog out towards the east end, out towards the Dallas. A little colder there at 41. Everybody else looking at uh, sunny skies developing fairly quick, quickly. Highs will be in the mid to upper 40s. Heading up to Mount Hood, partly cloudy skies to mostly sunny. High 51 Welch is 47 at the past 40s up at Timberland and Meadows. That freezing level is up at 10,000 feet today. And then as we look into the uh, uh, central and eastern side of the state, we'll see the areas of fog up there in the north where we just saw otherwise becoming mostly sunny. But with that fog, notice how much cooler it is up in Pendleton at 37 comparing uh, to what we're expecting in Bend at 55. 44 the high in Burns. Baker going to 35. Madras hitting 52 degrees. So the seven-day forecast, uh, here you go, Deb. How about just about every day? Fog to sun, fog to sun, <laughs> fog to sun. Uh, highs will be in the upper 40s starting tomorrow, taking us all the way through Friday. Uh, notice not a raindrop in sight until we get to Sunday afternoon to evening. So Saturday should be dry high 50 50 on Sunday. So we've seen a lot of dry weather out there. Jeff, are we about to approach a, a record long dry weather streak? That's a really good question. And considering that January is our third wettest month, uh, that was a question I was uh, considering. I just looked at some of the stats. So let's take a look at where we're at right now. We just went three days in a row without uh, measurable rain or even a trace of rain. That was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It looks like it's going to be another dry day today as long as we don't see any misty, drizzly weather around the airport that we would pick up a, a measurable amount of rain. But uh, the dry streak will likely uh, carry all the way uh, into nine days if we stay dry through Saturday. If we happen to stay dry through Sunday, that would make it 10 days. Okay, would that be a streak for January? The answer is no. The current streak without not even a trace of rain at PDX was between January 1st to January 13th, 1985. We went 13 straight days with about measurable rain. But let's break down why we're not seeing rain and uh, why the week should be uh, pretty dry across uh, northwest Oregon and southwest Washington. The storm track is going way up to the north of us, courtesy of a high pressure system that's building over the west coast and uh, the eastern Pacific Ocean. That's going to linger uh, throughout the next five to six days. Eventually, it'll work its way inland. That will give way to a trough of low pressure digging in to the Gulf of Alaska. That's the system right there that's going to eventually probably draw or push a cold front into our region and uh, bring more showers. showers back into northwest Oregon and southwest Washington. Timing looks like uh, late Sunday, perhaps even into Monday. So again, if we stay dry uh, through Saturday, our streak would extend to nine straight days without measurable rain. Sunday, it would be 10 days. Uh, so kind of an interesting weather setup, but all good things will come to an end, I'm sure.